Well, hello everybody. How are you all today? Coming to you today from sunny eastern Tennessee, where I now live. I uh, just moved here about three weeks ago in uh, July sometime. First week of July, I guess. So <clears throat> today we're going to talk about that question um, that can seem hard to answer. But what are your strengths? This is for you to answer to yourself. Um, <clears throat> I want you to get a notebook, Dollar Tree notebook, cheapy old notebook. Open it up and make some columns. Make, make two columns. Just fold the paper in half or draw a line down the center. I want you on the left side at the top to write strengths, my strengths. On the right side, put needs improvement, okay. On the left hand side, I want you to start writing down the things that you already know how to do in an office situation or uh, maybe projects that you have worked on in another job that required organization, uh, problem solving, that type of thing, okay? Now, while those are great answers, I'm a problem solver, I have a strong work ethic, I'm a great organizer, that type of thing. That's not the answer interviewing attorneys or hiring attorneys are looking for. They want specifics for the area of law that they work in. Now, I've covered this in many, many other videos, but I still get the question how do I know what's expected of me? Well, one of the ways that you will know is that when you look at the ads, it's gonna be a certain area of law or areas of law that that attorney works in. They specialize usually. Most attorneys on this planet are not generalizing in their law practice. Most are not. They are real estate attorneys, business law attorneys, or called commercial, personal injury, insurance defense, um, administrative law. Oh, there's hundreds of areas, okay? Automobile accident law is a subset of personal injury law. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what do you do? What do you do? Well, one of the things that I've said in other videos is in the search area for Google, you're gonna put in what are the paralegal duties for a blank paralegal? Or what are the duties of a blank paralegal? What's that mean? Okay, for instance, what are the duties for a family law paralegal where they deal in divorce, adoption, custody issues, um, div well, I said divorce, many other subsets of you know, that are involved in family law. Um, so that's one of the search terms. The other search term might be if you're interested in real estate. What are the duties of a real estate paralegal? And switch that, switch that search term around when you're searching on Google. Um, paralegal duties in real estate law. <clears throat> Excuse me. So start doing your homework and then what do you do with that well you've got to research once you find those duties that the paralegals do because you don't want to know honestly I mean just for your your own um, knowledge you can learn what attorneys do every day but that's not what you're going to be doing you're going to be doing paralegal duties which is assisting the attorney which is quite different than their focus your focus will be different. So do that research, and then when you read some of those duties, and you really don't understand what that is, you do more research and find out what does that mean, and search for that on Google. So if it says, you know, prepares motions, find out what some of the motions are. What, some, what are some of those motions in uh, business law? What do they look like? Start doing your, that's what paralegals do anyway. We are great detectives and researchers. So I want you to do that homework. You see, when they, 
when they start inter what before they interview you they look at your cover letter and resume and this is where people fall down seriously fall down it is the, the, the cover letter is the single most important sales tool that you can send off to the attorney whether you're <clears throat> mailing it excuse me I'm very cloggy today <clears throat> whether you're mailing it which is most of the time not happening it's going to be uploaded or emailed they want to look they want to be they want you to relay them some some information to them that says you know how to do some things for them you see if you make the assumption and we never assume in the legal field if you make an assumption that they're gonna train you, even if the ad says so, that's bogus, they don't have time for that. They are not gonna train you. They're not gonna be hand-holding. I wish they did more of that, but they really don't, okay? So you have to learn a lot of this on your own, and the practical stuff is what I'm talking about. This is not, most of it is not taught in a two-year program or a certificate program, okay? so. What do I suggest? One of the things I suggest is that for your own sanity, you take my class, the Paralegal Inner Circle class. You can scroll down and find out. There's a link if you go back um, a week or so. You'll see a link for um, if you just need help with the interview, then take the interview class that's included in the paralegal inner circle class by the way that's one of the modules but so many people asked about how to interview I separated it out to a class all by itself so if you need help with the cover letter there's the cover letter secrets class which is so important because that's the first contact with that attorney and you want that to be an incredible contact and one where you hit it out of the park you don't want it to be a mediocre cover letter okay cover letter is much more than introducing your resume if that's all you're doing don't even bother but it has to be much more and so I I found this out the hard way so be sure that you do that research that I've talked about in this video have a notebook where you can write notes and that's just the beginning of your journey. Find out what each of those things are that the paralegal does. If you don't understand it, then Google it and look it up and then take notes about it. Because this is what the attorney wants you to know. They want you to know eventually how to do all those duties, but they know when they're hiring a beginner that no, you don't know all that. The answer for them unfortunately is that their solution is not that they're going to train you don't ever assume that their solution is that you're going to learn on the job if they do hire you but you're going to be so far ahead so much further ahead if you research what i told you to research in the beginning of this video and then go from there and research those each duty so that you're not you're not wondering when you start to wonder then you're going to go Google it, okay? Now, any questions, comments, please ask questions in the comments below on Facebook or also below um, on YouTube, okay? And for my YouTubers who are watching this, feel free to ch click on the description box and look at the links that are below. And for my Facebook folks, just scroll through the feed and you'll see links to classes and also for the Paralegal Resources Hub, which is totally free, no charge to you. So uh, you'll have to sign up for that, but just sign up and access the videos and PDFs that are there. All right, so have a great day. Questions, comments, please let me know. I love hearing from you and I uh, love hearing about your journey and your uh, your trials and tribulations and what you're going through because other people are feeling the same way. And I love to hear comments about how you're succeeding as well because um, for the, the troubles that you may be experiencing right now,
comment below because a lot of people would love, to, they, they can relate, and I may do a video about how to solve that, okay? So have a great day, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.